Well, another shocking finish to a hard-fought heat. And we're moving forward. Heat 16. Heat 17. Oh, I'm sorry. Round 3. We're into it. Heat 1. Italo Ferreira, Kanoa Igarashi, Thomas Hermes, and Timothy Biso. All right. We could have live action to start this heat right now. Whoa. Fading right, looking left. It is Italo Ferreira. We know he's capable in the air, but watch out. Give him a big open face, and he will throw a big carve. Person who's shot an amazing boards, and... Um... Yeah, I mean, I get all batches and I, you know, I'll just kind of pick my favourites, but I, all my boards really go good. This isn't even, you know, one of my favourites and it feels great. Uh, so, yeah, I'm stuck with it. Well, good equipment definitely makes the difference. Just giving you some confidence going into the round 64? Yeah, for sure. Um, I made a few heats in Brazil and that kind of gave me some more confidence coming in here. Want to just kind of put away for now and look forward to uh, what's coming up next. Well, we got a nice start to this heat looking at Timothy Biso. Biso, a couple of quick snaps oh. on his backhand there, and uh, you know that wave was had a nice chunky section to finish it, and uh, he definitely brought it home with a couple of big moves. And again, these guys, there's Kanoa Igarashi from California. I know he will make tour. He's that good. He's going to be going up against this guy, Italo Ferrero. And then you see Timothy Biso has to be the dark horse in this heat, and he's not surfing like it. He is surfing like a seasoned vet. His backhand is looking strong. It was the techno that we see sometimes from surfers on our backhand, but uh, he's putting some grunt into it. Tomas Hermes, fans rider from Brazil to no go. A little bit of chunk coming up the face. Uh, wind wise, uh, it's definitely a gamble either way you go. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, you're going to have to really kind of stay patient out there with the conditions. Don't get frustrated as we see Biso get busy. Watch this last turn. I like that, how he kind of chucked his tail. So again, he, he really uh, put some oomph into those turns. And, you know, he turned just an average wave into a solid score. Here goes Tomas Hermes trying to come back from an earlier mistake on his previous wave. Gets onto the open face, lays into a nice turn. Kind of an S-turn combo right there. He dodges one of his competitors. And he'll get off that wave. Italo Ferreira. Now up and riding on his back end, straight up into the lip. And uh, we are now accustomed to uh, expect the unexpected from Italo. He has got one of the best air games on the planet. And grabbed, uh, you know, I think potentially the best way we've seen so far in his heat. And that's that energy that gets him through so many heats. Wow, this heat has flown by. We're just about halfway done. 15 minutes and 30 seconds to go. Here's a look at Italo Ferreira's first Tricky. real scoring wave. Tricky section there, but I love how he, instead of just kind of kicking back and going for a floater, he tagged it. So he, he did almost a two for one. He extended out to float so he could make it around that section, but I like how he hit the lip first. Uh, so very smart surfing. Again, a lot of energy. At 15 to go, Jordy Smith's here to compete because he is really good. He's in the second of the last heat today. He's in heat three up against Kai Otten. Guy waving the flag, you'd think something <laughs> fishy was happening. He's kind of creepy. Well, he's signaling his competitor in the water who would be Kanoe Igarashi, but right now it's Tomas Hermes. Now this is the Tomas Hermes we have grown to love. Two big opening snaps waiting on this inside section. Bam! Nails it. That was a wave that Tomas Armes needed. And right outside, Kanoa Igarashi reacting to the waving towel by ripping the guts out of that last wave. And he waited for that first wave. And that had to have been hard to do because that first wave that Tomas had was amazing. It was I perfect. Mean, just saying, he let this thing go. Look at that thing. And Tomas, I'm absolutely in love with this carve right here. Zam! I mean, that is beautiful turn there. It had even a little bit of release of the fins. Missed that one section, but he puts it to bed with a really clean snap, a little bit of hand jive there, and this is the absolute bomb. It's one of the better waves we've seen in the last hour or two. Just surfing it a little bit on the safe side, he, he, he wanted to make sure he capitalized on getting a set wave, and you know, you just don't fall in those waves, you're gonna get an excellent score. So I think Kanoa has one or two gears extra to put on top of that, but pretty smart surfing there. Kanoa was born, born in 1997, for crying out loud. You know, he, he's 
he's still gonna, he's going to be growing up on tour. Um, so places like J Bay, TD, F uh, Fiji. Well, we see the top seeds hitting the lineup right now in this heat. Hopefully, if we resume competition tomorrow, we'll see the back end of that that round with the top seeds taking to the lineup. You mentioned the swell going more northerly. That is a thankless job. If the waves are good, no one's going to thank you. But if they're bad, they're going to blame yeah. you. Tomas Hermes, this will be his backup. His first scoring wave was huge, a 9-2-3. Now he's putting in the work, manufacturing a backup score. He's looking to replace a 3-7-7. Wave didn't look like it was offering a lot. Man, he made a lot out of a little. Jeez. Thomas Hermes. And again, Kanoa Igarashi held it back just a little bit, but the wave was such a gem. He got himself an 8.67, so really a big advantage for those two fellas. Almost got squirrely with that floater, but planted it nonetheless. And there's that precise little gaff from Thomas Hermes. You can see he's looking really fiery. Well, Thomas Hermes has actually had four opportunities to compete on the championship tour. He did get a little bit humbled, 3 25ths. He squeaked out a 13th place finish. So uh, that is an admirable result. He's not going to go down without a fight. Well, good call right there. As Biso is up and riding, he's got a strong, quick backhand. Goes beyond vertical on his second turn. And he just keeps fighting through the whitewater. And that was one of the craziest uppercuts we've seen in this event. Floater, kind of sketchy right there, loose trucks, but then watch this thing. Wakacha! Oh, it's 2 o'clock, 2 a.m. Uppercut from Biso, so. Let's see what happens here. You know, what does he need? 7.15? He does not want to hear. Well, he's going to get his way. Timothy Biso's last wave. It's right there. 6.8. It's Tomas Hermes. Fourth priority, it's Biso. So Toma Tomas Hermes may have just done a favor for Kanoe Irashi as he goes down the line, straight up in the lip. Nice section clearing snap. Carving back, stalling, trying to find a ramp. He does blast the tail out on the inside. Looking back, what's happening behind him? Well, it is Italo Ferreira going down. I I'm thinking he was going to go for a big tail waft towards the beach in this offshore wind. So right here, he's going to stomp that foot and try and whip that tail towards the beach to kind of hold that board up against the wind. Again, we saw that back foot slip off the traction pad. Tomas Hermes and Kanoa Igarashi make it official, moving through. One step closer to qualification for our surfers from Brazil and Huntington Beach, California. A good show of sportsmanship right there from Timothy Biso. A great result for him. Italo Ferreira dropping down to fourth place. 